Wow. Let me start the video off by just saying, wow. Nine nil. That's the score line in the League Cup semi-final. I think all sorts of records were broken in this match. 9-0. After defeating Rotherham 7-0 on the weekend, we follow it up by scoring 9. Wow. Simply wow. Astonishing. What a performance. A lot of other Premier League teams would have, you know, played second string teams in this fixture. You know, they would have, you know, given some of the fringe players, not even some, a lot of the fringe players a start. And who knows, they might have ended up losing or drawing the game. But City's mentality is not like that. We're not going to play around with our food. We're not going to joke around with these smaller teams. We're just going to just blow them out and move on, get, get on with, with business. That's just how it is. 9-0. I didn't expect anything less, just to be honest. Didn't expect anything less. The, the form that City has been in right now, after going through that, that mini slump of losing three Premier League matches, we, we, we mean business now. You know what I'm saying? We are not playing around anymore. We want the Premier League title again. We want the League Cup. We want the FA Cup. We also want the Champions League, but that one, I'm not talking about that one right now. That one is not easy to win. But 9-0. The first goal was scored by Kevin De Bruyne. Nicely set up by um, David Silva. Headed goal. And Jesus got in the act in the 30th minute. He scored again in the 34th minute. And we saw Zinchenko get in on the score line in the 37th minute to score his first ever Man City goal. He didn't even meant it. He meant to cross it and ended up in the back of the net. And it was 4-0 at halftime. And at that point, I was like, how many are we going to score today? Second half, Jesus scored completed his hat-trick in the 57th minute. Then he scored again in the 65th. We also had Phil Foden coming off the bench. Well, Phil Foden's goal actually came before Gabriel Jesus' fourth goal. Then we had Kyle Walker getting on the act with a tap-in. And then Riyad Mahrez finished things off, complete the ninth goal. Mahrez's goal was a scrappy one as well. A lot of the goals weren't the prettiest, but, you know, we still found a way to put him in the back of the net. Brighton had one really, really good chance, and it was to make the game 1-1. And I think Harness is his name. He put it over the crossbar. If they scored, would it have been a different game? I don't think so. Oh, you never know. Maybe, well, I, I don't think so. I really don't think so. Because if they scored and they wanted to, like, say, shut up shop, we would have, you know, kept on, you know, coming at them and the pressure would have gotten too much for this team sooner or later. Most of the, most of the game was spent in, you know, Brighton's third of the field. Not Brighton, Burton. Burton's third of the field. And... It was just a really good performance by Man City. If you check the stats, 28 shots on goal, 14 on target, comparing to Burton's four shots, only four, one on target. City, 74% possession compared to Burton's 26. 818 passes with a 90% pass completion by City comparing to Burton's 292 passes with a 75% pass completion. The game had a total of 12 fouls, so it wasn't really, you know, a physical, physical game. There were no yellow cards in the game. Wow. No red cards, of course. Seven offsides, five by City, two by Burton. City with seven corners and Burton with a solitary corner. 
it was a blowout. And guess what, guys? That's not the end of it. There is still a freaking second leg to play. There's still a second leg to play. But Burton, they have to keep their heads up high because it's a great achievement, you know, getting to the semifinal of the League Cup ahead of so many teams, so many top teams in the Premier League and the Championship, and they are in the semifinal. They were very unlucky to draw Man City. I think they would have performed a bit better versus a Chelsea or a Spurs, to be honest, you know, because those teams would have rotated their squad heavily and they may would have won by like, say, 3-1 or something like that. But with Man City, we mean business, man. We played a pretty strong team versus Rotherham on the weekend and now versus Burton, another strong team. For the second leg, for Burton, they will be happy welcoming a quality, quality team like Man City at their home. You know, City, one of the best teams in the entire world. So for the fans of Burton to come there and just see, you know, quality players in action would be a spectacle to behold. So they have something to play for. And I believe they should be making some money from reaching to the semis. But... How would City approach the second leg? Is Pep Guardiola going to call up some of the youth players? You know, because 9-0, I would like to believe that he's going to really rotate this squad because it makes no sense playing another strong 11 versus Burton to, you know, further embarrass them. Like, that would be really, really harsh or... Who knows, Guardiola might just do it. He might just play Aguero and, you know, and all these guys. And Sterling, Sterling who rested today, Stones, all these guys might come back. We play the second leg on Wednesday, the 23rd. In between, we have Wolves coming up next Monday, the 14th, and then Huddersfield. We should win these two fixtures, but Wolves will be a very, very tricky fixture. They just defeated Liverpool. They drew the first match of the season when we met them. They, you know, give us a hard time. Last year, I think it was the FA Cup or the League Cup, one of those cups. But Wolves are a very, very tricky team. But back to the Burton game, man. 9-0. 9-0. Man City will play... Either Tottenham Hotspur or Chelsea. Tottenham defeated Chelsea one goal to nail in a controversial fixture yesterday. I would fancy our chances against Tottenham more than against Chelsea. Remember, we just lost to Chelsea, but we, you know, I think we will perform a little better versus Tottenham Hotspur. That's just my thoughts. You know, we could spank Chelsea as well, but. I just feel more comfortable playing a team like Tottenham Hotspur. So, Alexander Zinchenko, his first goal for Man City. Brilliant, brilliant day for him. Also in the lineup was young 18-year-old Eric Garcia, who I think is celebrating his birthday today or maybe yesterday. So, this is a birthday he will never, ever forget. There was also Nicolas Otamendi involved in the game. Ilkay Gundogan had a brilliant, brilliant game we also had um, Leroy Sane. Surprisingly, that Sane did not, you know, get in the act scoring. Also, we saw Danilo coming off the bench, Bernardo Silva, and Phil Foden, as I mentioned before. It was a very, very good performance. I feel bad for the Burton manager, man. He just looks so sad. Nigel Clough. He made it to the semifinal of the League Cup on few more occasions with other teams and I think he definitely lost those but this one had to be the worst of the bunch so hold your head up high man you know it's City can do this to any team City can do this to any team it doesn't matter the size they could just destroy anyone it's been happening in the Premier League for the past two seasons that I've been following Manchester City but Congrats to my team. Another great, great performance, man. A historic performance. I wanted 10, but we have to settle for 9. You know, it was another awesome performance, man. But all the best to my team in the second leg. 
Brighton, uh, no, I kept saying Brighton, man. Burton, Burton. Sorry, guys. Sorry, Burton fans, if any of you are watching this. But Burton, keep your head up high and all the best in the second leg. Guys, I just wanted to share my thoughts on the game. So if you're new around here, consider hitting the subscribe button. Smash the thumbs up button. Leave a comment in the section down below. And until next time, peace out. Rich Squad.